Hey guys, so today we are finally going to review a little bit of the Nintendo Labo, which we... Un poquito, if you will. Yeah, that is in fact how you say that, a little. <laughs> uh, we got this, what, last week when it came out? When it came out! Um, and the next day I immediately put together a tiny little robot dude. Um, but it's we... a race car, right? It is officially called... No, it's not the race car. The RC car. The RC car. But... He kind of moves. Well, sh kind we'll of like a you. dinosaur. I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. The point being is that we're working our way through. They're extremely fun to put together, and we wanted to give you a review of the two that we have built so far. So we have the Toycon RC car, which mm -hmm. is this green fellow here, which is a little hard to see, and then the much bigger one, which is the Toycon uh, fishing rod. Which I can tell you. Well, before I get into this, um, how. How long did it take you to build the RC car? About 30 minutes. Really? I think it says it takes 10 minutes to build. Oh, I know why it took Be you a long time, because you're forwarding the, the, yes. the screen. Yes, we learned a lot during this process. Um, oh, maybe it was 20 minutes, because I did it in the morning before we went to work. Fair. Yeah, I think it was like 20 minutes. This was maybe an hour? 45. Maybe an hour. Yeah. It is so Super intricate for it is, cardboard. It is very intricate for cardboard. I am I am so blown away it by how neat everything comes together. Um, I'm just loving it. I mean, everything spins over here if I turn. Yeah. And if you listen, you hear the clicking yep. of the rod. And because it's silly, there's this little piece of cardboard here which just pops right out where you put in it has a music note on it. And the whole point of it is for when you turn the rod. For it to make a clicking noise. They really thought these through. That is attention to detail. Yes. Okay, so we do want to give Look, a- Look, it collapses. I know, it's really smart. I so thoroughly impressed, yes. thoroughly impressed. So for our first two that we put together, I would say we are rather impressed by how well made they are for being cardboard. I'm also, impressed by how the the engineers decided to utilize the different parts of the Nintendo Switch in order to be able to create the different things that are inside. I know that as we keep going, I'm just going to become more and more and more impressed. So I put together, they, they do sort of tell you to kind of do them in order. Right? Yeah, I think so. So this is the easiest one to put together. This is one little, little dude, and then this is your remote control and the way that this one works do you want should i put it together or no the we'll the show two, it we'll the show two joy cons come off they clip into this green guy um and then the this remote control literally is a piece of cardboard that slips on here to make it look like a remote control and then uh the vibratingness of the joy cons actually moves it the thing that I thought was really awesome about the uh, RC car is that it has a camera built in. It has infrared, and it is actually the infrared from the uh, Joy-Cons that actually project, that you get to see an image of what it, it is seeing. It's not a clear video image because it's reading it from infrared, but it's like a black and, or a, a green and white, like imagine night vision outline of what it's trying to do. It's not very clear at all, but it is really awesome. And you can actually change the amount of vibration back and forth um, on, the, on the controller so that you can decide if you want it to go more left or less left and you can use the, the different things uh, separately to control how it moves as well. It works pretty well. It works pretty well. I wouldn't say it's... It's, it's not the best one. It's not this the best a good, one. a good starter though, because you realize, oh, they thought about this. Right, right. How, how, before I give my, my, my final thought yeah. on You're, these two you things. You only have one On thought. these two things. Yes. Um, building this, like I said, was amazing. Okay. Just from seeing just thin pieces of cardboard. Now, that, that is my one criticism about this. Uh -huh. How flimsy the cardboard it's is. cardboard. What do you expect? They sell different no, gauges of cardboard. No, I know, but it wouldn't be able to be the way that it is. I, I disagree. But I get it. I feel like it can be a little bit thicker. But it's okay. It's okay. Still, for as thin as it is... It's very sturdy. Blown away. So the inside of the... They call this the C. Because what happens is you hook 
your the console goes inside here and it displays everything. But what I want to kind of show, if you open up the back, inside there's a whole spool of fishing line inside. right the fishing line and there's a rubber band which it you is see that so when you pull the, the string it comes out and then it actually does feed itself back in which is again they're doing some really good easy fun engineering uh here for kids and adults because this is totally for adults i think it's totally for adults what oh i my love God, is this is designed specifically for people like us we got distracted for what half an hour this true. morning. We were late. We finished. were late for work we because I was work playing with this. Because we were fishing. It's true. Like, but I mean, I just I don't know. I just it turns. Really like even the it knob clicks. turns. I love that it clicks. Um, so you'll put one controller in here, which will determine if, if you're bringing your your dropping or raising your fishing line, and the the con other controller goes here, which determines movement. So what I was really impressed was. Was one it looked nice on the yeah, screen. Yeah, absolutely. We haven't played it on a TV yet because packing. Um, and so I don't we think you should. Well, I think it's nice if you want to see a bigger screen, but yeah. you don't have to, right? It's you don't have to. It's designed to work with the the monitor here. But like what I really enjoyed while the lure was in the water, and if I moved my rod from left to right, mm -hmm. it, moved it moved on, on the, the screen. screen. And Which the way was... that the line is lined up is actually like the middle of the screen, right. so it really gave that that augmented reality sense of you were actually controlling a line that was in the water. Um, I was and also, the graphics were really nice. Yeah, I was also really impressed that when a fish would touch the lure, not even nibble at it, just bump against it, you would feel like a bump a in bit, the controller. Yeah. When you, when a fish catches onto the lure, um, you, you feel lure. it. Well, it doesn't swallow it, it bites it. Yeah, but it gets caught. And sure, sure. Okay. But you feel Fishing. the tension, and when you're trying to bring the fish up, you would see the the um, the fishing line start to glow, just meaning the fish is fighting you. Mm -hmm. um, but for a game for a predominantly game, made out of cardboard, cardboard, thoroughly impressed. Very impressive. Now, the thing that I found to be frustrating, which Eric figured out, was actually during the build process. So when I was building it, um, I had started putting everything together. And the thing that I found annoying is that for each step, you have to hold down the forward button, basically, to get to the next step. There's and not hold like, it down for like for two, two Mississippis. Yeah, two full or maybe three Mississippis to really get it to go to the next step which is a little annoying if you're folding something and then you're holding yeah. okay now then it's the next step okay so it just creates a little it takes a little more time the thing eric found out is that you can actually use one of the joy cons to do it because that makes sense you can press the a button yeah so instead of having the screen it, i just ejected you don't have this to reach out you just can press you hold the a and it'll kind of fast you still have to wait the three mississippi hold it but it was easier because I could yeah. fold it one hand and still do this. I think my build was quicker. I get why they did that. and that's... Because you don't want to accidentally skip ahead. Right. Like hitting it twice and then accidentally missing a piece that you needed to and then getting confused. It's also really nice you can turn the model on the screen itself so that when you're looking at it um, and you're not quite sure which direction or what side it is you're folding, you can actually rotate the image on the console screen to see the other side. The other thing is if you hit Y uh, on the controller, it will go back a It'll screen. It'll reset. Oh, go back a screen? Yes, oh, yes. So the there, was, there was one problem today that you didn't know about. When what I finished that? this build, I realized here it says Nintendo Labo yeah. facing me. Yeah. I had this backwards. How did you During that my backwards? build, I guess I didn't pay attention to the picture. You gotta so, pay attention to the picture. I know, I know. But thankfully, it was easy enough to just kind of like disconnect a couple of pieces. Okay. And I was able to rotate I'm it around. I'm glad you were able to fix it. Yeah. But, you know, I, I feel like... But it was fixable. It, it was, was fixable. It was not a permanent No, no, situation. because I didn't have to glue anything. Everything now, was just like tabs. For the record, there was a point this morning, because I was listening, or last night when you were working on it, because you worked on part of this last night, when you're putting it together and you go... What are all these extra pieces for? And the screen went and told you literally on the next step, hold on to those extra pieces. Yeah. You're going to need them soon. Yeah. And it, I had that realization that they must have tested 
Like, user tested the crap the out crap of this. The crap out of this. Because to know that Eric's brain <laughs> was going to go, what are all these extra pieces for? Right. And have the screen tell him, you're going to use them, don't get rid of them, yeah. was amazing. It really was. Actually, I was just a bystander in all of this. Actually, this, this, this music part, the mm -hmm. one with the clicking noise, um, when you install this one, right before you install it, it says, we've given you a spare just in case, don't worry about it. Oh. Which I also thought That's was nice. really. I think they did play, they build, really slash, did. test they the really crap out it. of it. Um, I would say the one thing that is a negative for me. Can okay. we talk about my sure. downside of this? Sure. Actually, I have two things. One, this is a single person game. It's yeah. a one person build. You can't really do it with another person. It's not a collaborative. Um, put together your stuff and do it's no one person's gonna sit down and they're gonna work through it and it's gonna be really satisfying for them but it's not something you could really share like you'd have to trade off each time I yeah it, it doesn't no. really work like that you can't work simultaneously on it and that's kind of a bummer I don't know how they could get around it but no. I had hoped that we could put it together together and that's just not going to be the case. So as we get through the rest of them, I think we're just going to have to pick which ones you want to do and which ones I want to do. I want to build them all. Okay, I was going to say, can I build the piano? That's the best one! Okay, fine. Apparently the piano takes three hours to build. We'll have to work with okay, each other Okay, maybe that. we will work We're going to see. We'll work on that. How I see this so far with just oh, two I builds. I have one other thing I don't want to forget. No, do your thing then. The other thing I was going to say is... I'm going to be really nervous about storing all of this because it's cardboard. I'm going to worry that it's going to break or get bent and we have a lot of stuff. So I'm a little concerned and I'm like, I have to go buy like a, a bin or something well, the good to news keep is, just this in so that they don't break. I believe they sell each one of these yeah. for about $12. You can buy them individually. So you can buy it again. They are expecting this to get damaged and get messed up and you yeah, can buy it again. Yeah, but I don't want to have it happen while we're moving. No, so I agree. I, well, I, I, just, I mean, that's just that a weird just, circumstance because we're moving. It was something that I had in the back of my head and I wanted to mention it because it is cardboard. Like, this bends. If yeah, I, like I'm I said, not going kind of to flimsy. do it. The whole point is that it's supposed to bend because you have to be able to do everything and move everything around. But I'm also worried that this is going to get left on a seat somewhere and someone's going to crush it. Yeah. Um, how yeah. I view this so far, yeah, it's a really impressive proof of concept tech demo. Oh, yeah. Really good. Like, That's I'm excited to see of of. what people are going to do. Because there's another thing. There's a, a build, play, and discover. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone to the discover part yet. Yeah. Um, maybe it gives you ideas how to build other things. I'm actually not going to get there until we're done building everything. Okay. But... My goodness, huge fan. So, I don't know if I'll be able to build something like this on my own. Like one day just buy some cardboard and make yeah, something. Yeah, totally. But. We're going to enjoy the ones that they make for us. Yes. So that was the first two. There's still the Toy-Con house, the Toy-Con motorbike, and the piano. And the Toy-Con garage. And the Toy-Con garage. I don't know. I don't really, know. The piano is one that I'm super excited about. So. We'll get to those. We will. So this is the first part of a multi-part review, I think, at this point. Especially yeah. since the other builds are going to take quite a while. If you said the piano is going to take three hours, I'm not sure we're going to get to it tomorrow. But just know that they are coming soon. You can check back. Oh, we almost had an escaping fishing it's okay. Hat. Um, You can definitely check back and there will be more Labo. That's yes. for sure. So with that being said, I think it's going to call it a night for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, support us on Patreon. And until then, we will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.